all that talk about nostalgia yesterday. All that talk about nostalgia yesterday got me thinking about how I started this whole thing, and by this whole thing, I mean like my foray into full-time entrepreneurship and then Cap Collective and all that stuff. That's what I wanna talk about. I'm gonna dedicate this entire week to talking about it, uh, which is like how to start a startup. The uh, spring, the spring has sprung. Yeah. Doing well, thank Get you. It. Ugh. It's pretty rainy. It's pretty rainy out here. <laughs> this is all about it. <laughs> they're doing it, but they're just... These blossoms make the rain worth it. I think, I think, that's my argument. My shoes got absolutely soaked this morning, so I made these cool slippers out of this old bag. I always say there's nothing you can't do with a little gaffer's tape and a little ingenuity. I'm gonna do my best to get it as deep into it as I can because I want it to be as helpful as possible, so I'm really hoping that this, like, works, okay? Here's what happened. I graduated from college, I worked for my dad for the summer, and then I got a job in fundraising from Messiah College, which was the college that I had graduated from. I worked there for two and a half years, learned so much, wore a suit and tie every single day, um, met with a lot of people, like learned that I love talking to people. One of the biggest things I learned was that I'm a huge fan of creating my own systems and structures, and less a fan of implementing pre-existing systems and structures. I had been taking freelance video production jobs uh, on the side, like on the weekends, in the evening, stuff like that. I did this crazy animation thing, which like I had no idea how to do, but I did it and got it done and they liked it and it all worked out and it was really scary, but it happened. And so I started toying with the idea of, you know, going full-time freelance video, like using my degree, working for myself, that sort of thing. And then I went to Thailand for two weeks. And while I was in Thailand, I was leading a group. We were working with organizations that were fighting against forced prostitution and human trafficking, something I'm really passionate about. And I was leading this small group. It was a different culture, different language. I was completely out of my element, out of my comfort zone. And I'm not sure if this has ever happened to you, but when I'm in that setting, when I'm in a setting like that, I just get this incredible amount of clarity. Two weeks after getting back from Thailand, I left my job at Messiah and went into full-time freelance video. Here I need to pause and say, I did do that completely the wrong way. I basically called Amber and I was like, Amber, I'm about to put in my letter of resignation. And like, that was kind of the first time she had heard of it. And then uh, I was like, will you support me if I do it? And that's, that's called backing someone into a corner. That's the wrong way to make a big life decision like that. Learn from me. We did make it through. I did get into full-time video production just 100% all the time uh, by myself. And uh, in the beginning, I really had zero idea how to price anything that I was doing. So everything I did was was extremely underpriced. I mean, the silver lining was I learned a lot. Maybe that just comes with the territory. Maybe everybody underprices themselves when they start out. Hey. I'm gonna stop there because my crew just got back. No, just kidding. It's really because I'm gonna stop here. There's three things that I want you to learn from this. Number one is get away, get out of the norm to get some clarity so you know what you wanna do. Number two is do not make massive life decisions by yourself. Always converse and consult with your spouse before doing that. Number three is do some market research, figure out how to price stuff so that you don't just give away your service or product or whatever for way less than what it's worth. Hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow for part two. I don't have time to look at that stuff. I'm going home.